I'm John Titus for evalkits.com. Welcome. In this video review, I'll take a look at this kit from Zilog. It's a Z8 Encore XP development kit, and it goes by the part number Z8F16801280. ZCOG. I'll repeat that again. It's the Z8F16801280 ZCOG, like Zulu Charlie Oscar Golf. So let's put the box aside and we'll take a look at what comes in the kit. Uh, the first thing, and perhaps the most important, is this microcontroller development board. And we'll get a close-up of this in a minute, and I'll explain the features of the board and the kinds of things that you have available when you want to do some development work. The kit includes this USB smart cable that makes a connection through a USB port to your host computer so that when you do development work and you have code to run, you can download it through the USB port to this pod and then through this six pin cable that connects down to the microcontroller development board. You also get this power supply that comes with different types of contacts for power connections throughout the world. You just slide that out and slide in one of the other ones that comes with the kit. The kit comes with the Zilog developer suite of tools on the CD-ROM along with documentation and examples. I suggest you check the Zilog website to see if there is an update. This comes with the 4.10.0 version of the tools. There's a 4.11.0 version on the Zilog website and that's what I downloaded and used for my development work while I evaluated this kit. The kit also comes with this quick start guide that gives you information about how to set up the hardware, how to install a USB driver for the USB smart cable, and also how to set up the Zilog developer suite of tools so that you have them available on your host PC. So we'll take a break and in a few seconds I'll be back and have this equipment set up and show you how it works. Here is the board ready to go and connected both to power and also connected to the USB smart cable through the six pin flat cable connector. The microcontroller chip itself is a 28 pin device that has a complement of 16K of flash and 2K of RAM. It also has a 10 bit A to D converter that provides eight input channels and it has the usual complement of timers and UARTs and general purpose digital I.O. Zilog claims on its website that this board and chip can have 37 I.O.s, but in a 28 pin device that would be a bit of a neat trick. I want you to take a look at the written review I've done here on the evalkits.com website for more information about this. The board itself has two push buttons, one an uncommitted push button, a reset push button. It has three LEDs. It has a serial port. It has inputs for the A to D converter, and it has a series of pins that give you access to many of the other I.O. signals. I have set up the development board so that it is powered and there's a little green LED up here in the corner that you can see that indicates it's powered. I've got the USB smart cable connected up to my host PC and I've got the cable connection between the pod and the development board. When you download and install the Zilog Developer Studio tools, you also get some sample code, in this case an LED blink program that is described in the user's guide that comes with the kit. You can get that pulled into the Zilog Developer Studio tools. You can build a project, download it to the board, and then run it. I've downloaded it, and I'll go over here to my PC and click on the go button and you can see that the sample program is simply flashing three LEDs in sequence. We've got a red, yellow, and green and when I push the button the sequence reverses and we get green, yellow, red. Push the button again and it switches back to red, yellow, green and it'll continue to do that every time you press the button. It's a very basic program simply to help you understand that you have got the code properly built, that you've got a connection between your PC, 
and the USB smart cable to the board to the microcontroller that you've downloaded code that's in flash and that you can run it by starting it through the debugger on the host computer. So it's not terribly uh, exciting, it's just something that allows you to get set up and confirm that you've got a working system. I think this kit would be good to introduce somebody not only to the F1680 architecture, but also introduce people to microcontrollers. The only problem is that when you finish with the simple getting started guide, it doesn't tell you where to go for more information. It doesn't explain that these manuals exist. And in fact, if you want to look on the CD-ROM, you'll be scratching your head too, because there's no index to what's on the CD-ROM. Yes, there's a front end that allows you to look at some of the manuals, but it would be nice to have a table of contents that tells you what manuals are on the CD, so you know what's there and you can go get them. Also, there's no documentation of a tutorial nature for the Z8 microcontroller family or architecture, so you're somewhat limited and on your own when you finish with the user's guide. I think that's a, a real shame because there's some nice hardware here and there's good software too. There's just nothing that ties it all together in a fashion that you can take beyond this basic LED flash program. For more information and also to learn about a little bit of a problem in the Zilog Developer Studio Tools version 4.11. Be sure to read my written review. It explains how to get over that and it was good of the people at Zilog to walk me through it and overcome that. They know about the problem but if you use these tools you should know about it too and you should know how to overcome it. I've documented that for you. My review is here on evalkits.com.